So lastly, I want to show you the small signal analysis for uh, this circuit, or at least for a part of this circuit. And you can use this to compute the AC components in the circuit. Uh, and for this, um, uh, you, you can use this small signal analysis to get precise values for the capacitors, because with this you can compute the real impedances which are present in the circuit. So you can compute output input impedance of uh, the circuit as well uh, as the amplification of the circuit. And uh, this is what I uh, will do right now. Um, I will compute the amplification of the first part of the circuit, so of the triode part. Um, and for this I have to redraw the circuit in a different way uh, and I have to redraw it in a way uh, which gives me the AC uh, components, uh, how the circuit looks like for the AC components. And so I will redraw this part here for AC. So we will analyze this part, the triode part. So it ends right here. We, uh, I won't analyze the pentode part right now. I will analyze the triode part, okay? Um, and uh, yeah, so let's uh, do that. And uh, I have to redraw it now in a different way. So the, 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 the tube itself acts as uh, the following thing. It is like a voltage source. And this voltage source has an internal resistance. This internal resistance uh, I call, it has different names. I call it Ri, but it can also be called Rp. It depends on the uh, data sheet which you have. Um, so basically, then it has a voltage source, and this voltage source is uh, controlled by the input voltage, or not actually by the input voltage, actually it is controlled by the voltage which is present between grid and cathode. So this voltage V, grid, cathode. So, um, and uh, there is also another thing, it is inverting, because if the voltage here rises, the, the tube conducts better, then the current gets more, and if uh, the current gets more, the voltage on uh, this uh, resistor gets higher. So a higher voltage here means a higher voltage on this resistor, but this means uh, a lower voltage on here to ground. Uh, so it is uh, inverting something. So we have a uh, weak grid minus weak grid cathode, but that's not the complete thing, the complete thing is uh, it has an amplification, of course, and this amplification factor is called mu. So this is the ampli amplification factor um, of the tube. So this gives us this voltage, which is generated by this generator inside. And then we have this uh, resistor. Uh, I will move it a bit more to here, just so that we can see everything better and uh, now here after this resistor we have actually the anode pin which is this point here and uh, the anode pin goes to this anode resistor and for the AC analysis uh, we will short out all capacitors and we will also short out um, all voltage sources so this here is a voltage source so it's actually a voltage source connected to ground, okay? And for AC analysis, we will short this out. So basically, this R uh, anode triode goes directly to ground because we have shorted it out. So basically, we have this R anode triode, okay? And ground, good. And um, now this cathode pin right here, the cathode, is actually then here on this voltage source, the cathode. And uh, here then comes this R cathode triode. Okay, R cathode triode. Good. And uh, the grid of the tube has an extremely high impedance. So basically there is no connection to the rest of the circuit. Actually, it's only this uh, controlling thing. So I just throw it in that way and I will uh, mark this point as grid. And then we have this resistor, which is called uh, R grid triode, okay? And the capacitor is a short and here we have our input in. Okay, 
Uh, so what we have here against ground, ground is our V, I call it V uh, in. And what we have here on the output resistor against ground is V out. Okay, good. And with the help of this diagram, now we should be able to compute the gain of the circuit, the voltage gain. We also can compute its input resistance, its output resistance, but what I will show you now is how to compute the gain of the circuit. Okay. Um, for that, I just use uh, the mesh rule. So I draw one mesh here, call it M1, and one here, call it M2. Um, and uh, now we need some currents in this, and I call this current, which flows here, I call it, uh, how should I call it? I call it I um, anode. Okay. Um, so this current flows around here, so the voltage drop on this resistor goes in this direction. Uh, the voltage drop on, on this voltage source actually in this, because the voltage source, so this is the plus. And the voltage drop on this resistor goes in this direction. Here on this resistor we have a voltage drop in this direction. And then don't forget this voltage. This voltage here is the V grid cathode voltage. So it goes in this direction, right? So right here. So now let me write down the equations. So the equations for the first mesh is um, Basically, we can leave out this resistor here because the voltage on this resistor is the input voltage and this is the voltage which uh, we uh, like to have. So we can write it like minus V in uh, plus V grid cathode and I add a T because it's triad. And uh, then I can say minus and the, the, this resistor, the voltage on here is R cathode triode times I A because the current here must be the same as this and this is equal to zero and then the second mesh is uh, R cathode triode R cathode uh, sorry yeah R cathode triode times I anode then um, this is minus but we have a minus sign in front of this so it, it gets positive again V grid cathode times mu and uh, then we have another plus we have R I times I A okay and the next thing or the last thing is plus plus V uh, out or Write it down R A triode times R I. Sorry, <laughs> of course, times I A. Okay, so now with these equations, we should be able to solve the problem. Uh, we want to get the voltage gain, I call it GV, and the voltage gain is defined by output voltage V out divided over V in, okay? So now let's see what we can do. Where do we have a V in? We have a V in right here. And basically, where do we have a V out? V out is actually this here. This is V out, okay? So basically, V out is equal to R anotride times IA. And V in can be computed with this Thing. So I will plug it right in. So let's say GV is V out is this R uh, anode triode times I A divided divided by this is now a bit longer. Okay, I should should move this to here make it look better. Um, Actually, what is V in? V in is uh, V grid cathode triode minus R cathode triode times I A. Okay, so basically what is known, what, what is unknown in here, this R 
anode triode, we, we know our anode triode, we know our cathode triode, uh, we don't know this current and we don't know this voltage right here. So let's see uh, how big this voltage here is. So I change M2 in a way that I can see how big V grid cathode triode is. Basically it must be something divided by mu and this something is now uh, minus R cathode triode times IA uh, minus RI times IA and minus RA triode times IA. Okay. Okay. So now we have this which tells you how big this is and let me plug this into here. So we can say GV is equal to R anode triode times IA divided by minus R cathode triode times IA minus RI times IA minus R anode triode times IA divided by mu okay and this whole thing minus R cathode triode times I A. Okay. So there we go. Um, now what we can do is uh, to start simplifying this thing a bit. I will do multiple operations at once. I could uh, multi I, I could uh, multiply this by mu and divide it by mu at the same time. So basically I could do that here then times mu and in that way I can do the following I can write R anode triode times I A and then times mu is equal to and I can do another simplification at the same time I have I A everywhere here so I can remove it like this so basically it's not Longer, longer present, present here. So, okay. Times mu. Good. And now let me write that down. Now we have minus R cathode triode. Okay. Minus R I. Okay. Minus R anode triode. Minus R cathode triode times mu. So now let me simplify the whole thing a bit further and I multiply everything by minus 1 so we have the minus in front. Uh, so we have minus, so we have gv is equal to minus r anode triode times mu and on the lower side I will do the following. I will write down ri plus r anode triode okay and uh, then uh, plus r cathode triode times and now one plus mu and this is the amplification of this simple triode circuit so if i quickly draw it again so very quick and, and sloppy drawing. Um, then uh, you can see that uh, here we have the R anode triode, R cathode triode. And these are the important factors in this amplification and of course the amplification factor mu. And maybe you have seen it in many uh, other circuits that there is a capacitor across R cathode triode uh, to ground. and um, this capacitor uh, just shorts out our cathode triode for, for AC voltages. So this resistor then would be removed. Yeah, it would be just this would be on ground. And let's see what this uh, would change. So, so if we would add this 
C cathode triode. So add C cathode triode. Then we would get the following thing. Um, then R cathode triode for AC will go to zero. So it would be a short. So actually the R cathode triode would still be there, but it would be shorted. So for AC it's like it is zero. And therefore then the GV would be uh, minus and R anode is the same, R anode triode times mu. And the whole thing divided by Ri would remain the same. R anode triode again, so plus R anode triode. But this here, R cathode would be zero. So we have zero times something that is, is zero. So this would be plus zero. And of course, if you calculate plus zero, it's not uh, existent anymore. So this is the simplified gain equation uh, with this. Uh, you can get the gain if the capacitor is added and this is if the capacitor is not present. So this uh, tells us that we can get a higher gain if this capacitor is added because we did, did uh, this value here. So this would be less if the capacitor is added and therefore the overall gain uh, will increase. So this is how to compute the gain of this circuit with the uh, equivalent uh, circuit. Okay, so now let's continue computing the uh, gain, but now of the the gain of the pentode section. If we want to get the overall gain, then uh, of the complete circuit, we have to just multiply both gains. Now we have got the first one uh, already, and now we need to compute the gain of the second one. Okay. Um, Basically, it works the same, but it's a bit simpler now because the cathode resistor is shorted out and therefore we get a simplified version uh, of uh, this network. And as I showed you before, I already showed you how we can simplify it. Uh, but since this is a pentode, I will use a different model for the tube uh, to compute its gain and I will show you uh, the model right now. But again, it will be simpler, no worries. Uh, basically, I don't want uh, to use a, a voltage source. Now I now I will use a current source, and so a current source is this symbol, not a constant voltage source. It's a constant current source, and a current source, a not ideal current source, has an internal parallel resist resistance, as parasitic resistance, so to speak. So basically, I will draw exactly this, and uh, now. Uh, this is now the uh, equivalent schematic of this tube. So we have also this grid connection which does not actually go to the grid. I call it G again, like grid. And uh, basically this resistor, this has the same name, I will call it Ri. And the output current of this current source actually is uh, also a dependent of the grid voltage. So it has a, a say it is quite similar, so it's minus because uh, of some reason which I told you before because of this inverting thing. It's also minus V grid cathode but now we have to multiply it by something else. It's not by, by mu, not the voltage gain. Now it's by Gm multiplied by Gm and you can find Gm in the data sheet of the tube uh, as well as, uh, as mu. And basically this is the way how we can get this current here and now let us connect the tube to the rest of the circuit. So actually uh, we have here, this is now our anode connection of the tube. And um, yeah, let me, let me erase this here like this and also dot. And basically on the lower side, the cathode of the tube now cathode and cathode now dire is directly connected to ground because this capacitor shorts out all AC. So this is connected to ground and therefore the output voltage. So we have to connect something else here. Uh, and what is this something else? Let's look uh, to the anode. So here we have the anode and on the anode we have the transformer tying the anode to plus. Okay, so what is this now? Basically, 
this thing here has now an XL. So this thing is uh, the, the resistance of it is dependent on the frequency. So basically I can uh, draw the following thing. So uh, instead of the coil I will draw a resistor which is connected to ground because it's connected to the power source and this shorts to ground. And now I call this just XLT like transformer. XLT. So there's a component of the of the transformer, uh, a frequency dependent component, yeah, of the transformer. And of course, of the transformer connected to the loudspeaker, uh, this makes a frequency dependent resistor. And this is also the reason why it is causing uh, so much difference on the gain over the frequency curve. Uh, which you can see in my previous video. Um, basically, let me complete uh, this thing. So for the, from the grid we have here, we have the input. And then I will tell you a bit more about this. So, But here we have the input. And here to ground, we have another resistor. And this resistor is now actually our grid pentode. And I wrote here R grid cathode. This is wrong. It should be R grid pentode. Sorry, R grid pentode. Okay. And um, so here we have R grid pentode. And basically, now the cool thing is because of this capacitor in here that V in is the same as V grid cathode, as you can see here from grid cathode. So we grid cathode is V in, so we can simplify it a lot. And now to compute the amplification of this, uh, I will do the same uh, what I did in my previous video. Uh, and this is, I will replace this transformer by a normal load resistor. And uh, I will calculate the gain with this load resistor right now, uh, so that you can see uh, that uh, how, how I can calculate the gain uh, of the circuit which I showed you in my previous video of the circuit without transform and loudspeaker. So I will call this resistor R anode uh, pentode and I will put the resistor onto here R anode pentode R anode pentode and I will remove the transformer and loudspeaker and I will calculate the gain with this setup right now. And uh, so let's do that and it will be quite simple. Basically the voltage on our anode cathode is our output voltage. I call it just V uh, out. And um, how do we get V out actually? So this voltage, this V out voltage is actually the voltage uh, drop across the resistor Ri in parallel to R anode pentode. Um, so basically we have this current, this is the current flowing through here and through these two resistors. So we need to take these two resistors in parallel and see how high the voltage drop on these two resistors actually is. And uh, V out is equal to the sum of these two resistors, and since they are in parallel, we have to take them in parallel, which is Ri times Rap divided by Ri plus Rap. Okay, and now we have we, we want to get the voltage, so we have to multiply that by the current, and the current is um, minus. V grid cathode times G M. Okay. And basically now we want to get the gain and the gain is output divided by input voltage. And um, this grid cathode voltage is basically the uh, input voltage. So we can of course simplify it. So I can say um, the gain, the voltage gain of this thing is uh, V out
and I noticed that I wrote uh, uh, wrote out with small letters. So I will do it again also here. V out divided by V in. So since V in is this, uh, I can write down minus gm times the sum of this both of these two resistors in parallel r i times r a p divided by r i plus r a p and this is the the gain of the pentode section of this thing so actually this is uh, i will write a p right here and the other side then is not a p this is the uh, and the other side is not a p this is now the triad so I will write a t right here t for triad okay so basically here we have to gain for the triad section actually this is the uh, formula to use for the triad section here we have the gain for the pentode section which was much simpler because of the capacitor and if we want to get the overall gain I now call it GV and the overall voltage gain is then just GV pentode times GV triad. So now that is the way how you can compute the gain, the overall gain of this circuit with this simple formula right here and yeah basically this uh, concludes this video uh, about uh, the computation of the overall gain of the open loop gain of the circuit actually if there is no feedback then it's, its gain is just the open loop gain and um, yeah so this concludes this video and thanks for watching and uh, bye